Hey everyone, Joel Anster, and today we're in Sela, yes, Sela, Washington, which is in the Yakima Valley here at Hang Loose Shave Ice. So Hang Loose Shave Ice is a really cool shave ice stand they have going here, um, and they have this big shave ice challenge. So the challenge itself, I believe, is called like the Mount Rainier Challenge, but undoubtedly it's the biggest shave ice I've ever, ever seen. Legit, this thing is like the size of my head, if not bigger. So for this challenge, you do have three flavors, and then there is ice cream in the bottom of it. Um, you do have 15 minutes to complete it, and if you beat it, you do get it for free in 15 minutes, and if not, you pay 15 bucks. So it's very affordable. I always love to see a challenge that's so affordable. Um, and yeah, shave ice. Who doesn't like shave ice, especially on a warm day like today? But uh, hell, I'm excited. I like shave ice. Um, shave ice is kind of like a Hawaiian thing generally, and I know they actually get their flavors here from Hawaii. So yeah, family owned little spot, really cool. So let's try some shave ice. Let's uh, have some fun and hopefully not freeze my head off. I feel that's gonna be the challenge really. It's gonna be not freezing, but ultimately let's uh, eat some shave ice. Everyone, so here we are with the shave ice. And yes, literally this thing is bigger than my head and that says a lot because I got a pretty big head. So yeah, it looks delicious. The flavors I went with, I went with a strawberry, I have a mango and I have a blue raspberry but the yellow and the blue made green. So it's very, very colorful. But yeah, this thing is absolutely giant. I've never done a shave ice like this before, so I'm super excited. But yeah, Hang Loose, really cool little spot here. Uh, it's like, it's like a little truck stand thing, but I tell you, it's a hot day, it's 100 degrees out, and this is exactly what I need. This is gonna probably cool me off too much, to be honest, but super excited, so let's eat some shave ice. All right, everyone, so let's get started. I am ready. Hang loose, our restaurant's ready. I am a little worried about uh, about brain freeze, but like I said, it at least is a nice warm day. It's definitely a day for some shaved ice. So, how about we get started? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my God. This is gonna be brain freeze inducing for sure. That's very cool. Oh my gosh. Woo. This might take a little bit. Woo. I feel like I'm barely putting a dent in this thing. It is just like... It's about as big as the... It's, it's huge, it's freezing. Woo! Brain freeze. Mentioned there's ice cream at the bottom of this. It's just pretty, uh, pretty creamy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Hang Loose. Yes, Hang Loose Shaved Ice, eating a big shaved ice challenge. So this thing was incredibly difficult. I don't think one can conceptualize really how difficult this was to eat quickly. It was very, very cold. Of course, it's ice. 
but with the syrups on it, it really compacts. And man, even though it was 100 degrees out, I was having such a difficulty eating this. I will say, it's very good though. The mango is very delicious. And it brings the syrups in from Hawaii. Admittingly, if you had like a different beverage or something to drink that was warmer, it would probably help a lot, but I didn't. And uh, man, I was struggling. You know, with only 15 minutes to actually complete this challenge, it's definitely not, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is massive. Like this the shaved ice was absolutely huge. It was like the size of a football, but it's not like it's 20 pounds. You know, it is more just a very difficult thing to eat in a short amount of time, um, even if it's a, well, apparently even if it's a warm day. Trying to get some of the stray liquid. Like I said, it is 100 degrees out. We did start right away. I will say that when it comes to shaved ice, these flavors were absolutely exceptional. I was very much enjoying them. Um, just the flavor profiles on them were delicious. You know, we had beautiful amounts of sweetness and tanginess. And uh, the way they just soaked that ice, I tell you, it definitely was enjoyable. I was very much enjoying this. Um, definitely something I'd recommend, you know, to eat more leisurely. Ah, oh, slowly but surely. Making my way downtown, walk the path. Let's go. Finish that song. Thank you. Wow. It's not like we're like, I don't know, maybe like five minutes in, but this is this is difficult. This is cold on the head. Very, very cold. Delicious but very, very cold. Hence, if you're ever in the area, definitely recommend stopping by and grabbing a shaved ice. Again, a beautiful thing on a warm kind of summer, fall, you know, etc. day. Um, but yeah, if you want to try this challenge, I, I tell you, good luck. It uh, it was again very delicious, and it's definitely worth a go. I mean, it's very economic, it's affordable, it's a great way to try a food challenge without like a huge buy-in, being it's like you know again such a reasonable price. But man, I tell you, that thing is uh, it's it's tough. It's a tough one. Um, now, perhaps if you're an individual who doesn't get brain freeze or you can handle cold things really well, you might find this super, super easy. I do get brain freeze, and I would think I normal or normally handle cold things. Careful super positioning. There you go, is that word. Thank you. But in this case, just the amount of cold, I tell you, I was having some real, real, real difficulty with it. Um, but besides that, it's a pretty straightforward challenge. Uh, you do get the meal for free if you complete in 15 minutes. And uh, like I said, you can pick your flavors. I went with kind of like a strawberry, I had a mango, and then I had the blue raspberry. I'm um, just kind of to my preference. They did have a variety of other flavors as well. And then there, like I said, there is actually ice cream in the bottom of this, um, which was kind of a cool aspect. Uh, it's kind of like a... The brain freeze is kicking in. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, no. People always say things like, Joel, don't you get brain freeze? I do. I just usually can put up with it until it like froze in black and blue. The ice cream at the bottom is a really cool addition though actually. Makes it taste like a creamsicle kind of. Like a creamsicle, you know, you know, even if it's not like the orange flavor, you still kind of get that icy fruity flavor with the mixture of that vanilla ice cream. Um, so yeah, definitely something pretty cool if you've never tried it. Kind of a ice cream and shaved ice or ice cream and slushy kind of combination. Um, I know definitely uh, quite a few uh, they're very popular at quite a few destinations, I should say, um, and uh, these guys definitely did that very well. Um, as I was starting to get into that kind of creaminess ice cream at the bottom. I see the end, kind of. Clearly, maybe, a little bit. Woo! You 
you don't need any advance notice or anything to come by and try the challenge. Just come by when they're open and ask to do it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Besides that, I believe that's pretty much all the information. Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, definitely I'd recommend doing this on a warm day. It might help uh, you know, combat a little bit of cold uh, temperatures and or you know, kind of the cold side effects of eating the shaved ice in such a quantity and so quickly. Um, but definitely, like I said, this is another time where I don't think the camera quite captures or does the size of this thing justice. Again, this thing, absolutely giant. Like literally the size of like an American size football. Um, yeah, it was it was solid, um, but very delicious. So with that, everyone, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Uh, let me know down below if you've ever had a shaved ice. Again, this is definitely a thing very popular kind of in Hawaii, kind of a Hawaiian shaved ice is generally how it's called. You know, and uh, it is similar to a snow cone, yes, but it is different. So if you've ever had shaved ice, let me know down below and uh, let me know what you thought of it. I really thought this was really enjoyable. So with that, let's go. Oh my gosh. Woo! Brain freeze is real. We're almost done. You know, people say, I see the light. I see the white, which is the ice cream at the bottom. Oh, oh my gosh. I tell you, this is, uh, whoa. You feel this one. Woo. My head. Just for the sake of it. All right, the effort was made. Woo! Oh, is that done? Yeah. Oh man. So 11 minutes and 43 seconds. I tell you, that was not only very, very delicious, but definitely cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, got like brain freeze and neck freeze and all the above. But hang loose. Really liked it. It was really great. The flavors were fantastic on the shade waves never had it. It is a little different than a snow cone. Um, it's like it's lighter, it's fluffier, it's kind of more like snow. It never it sounds weird, but if you ever eat snow, it kind of feels like that, that texture. But yeah, definitely if you're ever in the Yakima Valley area, definitely you stop by. Uh, great people, really cool cause they have going here, and uh, pretty cool challenge. And, you know, the opportunity to get free, <coughs> excuse me, shave ice. So that everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Really cool place, I have no complaints, and uh, the ice cream at the bottom. That's definitely a keeper as well. So the next time, of course, everybody say happy with the hungry, happy eating. And uh, believe it or not, you know, you always say desserts. So it's like, I always jokes like, is it sugar-free? They actually have sugar-free syrup. So this could be pretty much sugar-free. So the next time, everybody, just have a lovely day. Hope you have a lovely summer and uh, probably covered in ice cream. But until next time, peace.